cubital fossa. This video is about understanding the arrangement of the structures in the anterior elbow. So it is an anatomy video, but it can also help the surgeons in knowing how to approach the insertion of the distal biceps for repair, or how you approach the proximal radius fracture anteriorly. If you look at the bony structures of the anterior elbow, you need to find out where is the common flexor tendon origin, where is the brachialis inserted, where the biceps, the supinator, and the pronator teres are located. These structures are definitely part of the anterior elbow. The cubital fossa is a triangular depression located in front of the anterior elbow. The medial border is formed by the pronator teres, which arises from the medial epicondyle of the humerus. The lateral border is the brachioradialis muscle, which arises from the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus. The meeting of the two muscles forms the apex of the fossa. The brachioradialis overlaps the pronator teres, so the lateral border overlaps the medial border. The base is superior and is represented by a horizontal line connecting the two epicondyles of the humerus the lateral and the medial epicondyle. Structures located in and around the cubital fossa. Let's draw the cubital fossa. Here is the base of the cubital fossa seen as an imaginary line drawn between the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle of the distal humerus. Here is the pronator teres, which is the medial border, and the brachioradialis, which is the lateral border. The contents of the fossa from medial to lateral are the median nerve is the most medial. The median nerve disappears by entering the forearm between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. The second structure is the brachial artery and its bifurcations, the ulnar artery and the radial artery. You can see the brachial artery is over the brachialis. The ulnar artery leaves the fossa by going under the pronator teres, under the deep head. So the deep head separates the median nerve which goes between the two heads of the pronator teres from the ulnar artery which goes deep to the deep head of the pronator teres. Another branch in the cubital fossa is the radial artery which it descends laterally and is overlapped by the brachioradialis muscle. Another structure that's in the cubital fossa is the biceps tendon, which is lateral to the brachial artery. The biceps tendon has one main insertion laterally to the radial tuberosity and another insertion going medially to the bicepital aponeurosis. It covers and protects the vital structures medially which is the brachial artery and the median nerve. The biceps tendon pass backwards towards its insertion into the radial tuberosity. Finally, lateral to the biceps tendon is the radial nerve and its major branch, the posterior interosseous nerve. There are other important nerves in the vicinity of the area.
the superficial radial nerve, which is below the brachioradialis muscle, and the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, which is a branch of the muscular cutaneous nerve, and lies below the biceps proximally, and finally it lies laterally. The floor of the cubital fossa is made up of the lower part of the brachialis muscle medially and of the supinator laterally. The roof is made up of the skin, the deep fascia, and the bicipital aponeurosis. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.